So if you're anything like me, sometimes you might get nervous or fearful or worried about sharing your faith in Jesus with others. And today, we're gonna to talk about that. Also, I bet you two nickels that you can't guess where I am. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz, and on this channel, we're walking the journey toward Jesus together. If you think you know where I am, go ahead and leave me a comment, and get this, if you guess right, I will give you, as a prize, a virtual high five. What? Of course that's a thing, yeah. So today we're talking about sharing our faith and why sometimes we might be worried or scared about how people might perceive that. So I am where I am right now because of a Glencoe High School leadership retreat. I have a chance to be a chaperone. My daughter is going to be a freshman at Glencoe High School. She's on the leadership team, leadership class. So that's where I am, hanging out with like 43, 44 students. It's been a really cool couple of days. So today I'm gonna to tell you why I am afraid of sharing my faith sometimes and two scriptures that kind of help me in this process. And the why I'm afraid is because I put a lot of stock in what I can do. Like, I don't want to say the thing that makes you not believe in Jesus. I don't want to share my faith in a way that that pushes you away or turns you off to the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And and that scares me sometimes because, because I want to love people and I want to follow in the ways and the teachings of Jesus and show his love to others. But sometimes I just don't feel qualified. I don't feel like I have all the answers. I don't want somebody to come with a question and be like, I I don't know the answer to that. So that's why it scares me. Uh, there inside right now, I gotta get in. I'm running sound and being an adult and having a good time. But tomorrow morning when I get up, we'll talk about two scriptures that help me in this thinking about sharing my faith with others. I'm just kidding. I can't go to bed. It's 9.20 and I have to make a fire at 10 o'clock because um, young people stay up way too late. But still, we'll talk to them all. Well, good morning. It's before breakfast, uh, and I'm awake. I'm ready, ready to go. Rawr. So, if if we're relying on our own power, then sharing the gospel can be scary. But let's talk about the first scripture that can help us when we look at this. In First Corinthians one and two, Paul is talking about how when he presents the gospel, he's not relying on human wisdom, and that he uses very plain language. First Corinthians chapter two and verse five says this: "I did this so that you would not trust in human wisdom, but in the power." of God. So when we share our faith, when we share about the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we're not responsible for the results. Changing the heart belongs to God. So we, we study and we know the gospel as well as we can and we share that with others. And I have even, even gooder news in my second scripture that I'll share, but I'm going to wait till after breakfast because I smell like sweat and campfire, so it's, I feel like I should clean myself up before we talk any further. So, we'll see you after breakfast. So the second story in scripture that helps me when I think about sharing my faith, about sharing the good news with others, is in John chapter nine. There's a man who is blind and he's healed. And he's taken before the Pharisees. His parents say that he's old enough to answer for himself. And this is what the once blind man says to the religious leaders of the day. He says, I don't know whether he is a sinner, the man replied, but I know this, I was blind and now I can see. So the blind man didn't have all the answers. These, these men were the religious leaders, but he knew what Jesus had done for him. I think we should study the Bible. I think we should know why we believe what we believe. 
But if we can share the stories of what God has done in our lives, that can share the good news with others. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video this week. I hope you have a great week. Uh, did you leave me a comment and let me know where you think I was? Because I'm at uh, Canby, Canby Grove Camp is, is where I am. Hopefully you figured that out. Have a great week as we walk the journey toward Jesus together. Peace out. Trout. Also, I feel like I could just take a nap. Right here on the concrete. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. 101, 102.